everybody so in this video we're going to go over the six basic functional groups and it's important to remember that all of these groups they are hydrophilic and they are going to increase the solubility of organic compounds in water so the first group that we're going to go over is a hydroxyl group we know this group as alcohols it is an oxygen bonded to a hydrogen and this is what it looks like when we're looking at it in a molecule the next group is our carbonyl group or our carbonyl group it has two subsections. The first one is a ketone, and when we have a ketone, what happens is that we find it inside of the carbon skeleton. But we also have aldehyde, and aldehyde is found on the ends of the carbon skeleton. And a carbonyl group is just a carbon that is double bonded to an oxygen. Up next, we have a carboxyl group. We call these carboxylic acids or our organic acids. It is extremely important that we understand that they act like an acid. We need to know this. So it's going to be essentially a hydroxyl group and a carbonyl group mixed together. After this, we have our amine group. Our amine group, it acts as a base. This is another extremely important thing to remember. Our amino group acts like a base. It is a nitrogen that is bonded to two hydrogens. The next group is a sulfhydryl group, and we call these thiols. They're very important for protein structure stabilization. And essentially, it's just a sulfur bonded to a hydrogen. And then we have our phosphate group. We call these organic phosphates. It's going to be one phosphate that is going to be double bonded to an oxygen and single bonded to three other oxygens. These groups carry a negative charge. We need to know that also. We also need to know how to identify these functional groups when we are given a molecule and even be able to identify them when we're giving a 3D ball and stick model. And that's gonna be our upcoming videos. Take a look at cysteine and see if you can identify all of the functional groups that are present there. Remember to like and subscribe and see you next time.